Mr. Nunes. Yield to Mr. Ratcliffe. Ambassador Sondland, I'm going to try and uh, quickly move to uh, summarize all of your direct communications with President Trump as it relates to this inquiry, and of course you can correct me if I get it wrong. Um, on May 23rd, you had a group uh, meeting that included a, what you called a vanilla request about uh, ending corruption involving uh, Ukrainian oligarchs, correct? Correct. On July 25th, you called President Trump to say you were on your way to Ukraine, but nothing of substance occurred on that call, correct? Correct. On July 26th, you had a five-minute call at a restaurant that you didn't originally remember because it, according to your statement this morning, quote, did not strike me as significant at the time, end quote, but once refreshed, recalled that it, the primary purpose was a, a rapper named ASAP Rocky, correct? Correct. And on September 9th, and most importantly, uh, reading from your uh, deposition, you called President Trump to ask him, what do you want from Ukraine? He responded, I want nothing. I want no quid pro quo. I want Zelensky to do the right thing. I want him to do what he ran on, and what he ran on was fighting corruption, correct? And then lastly, on October 2nd, in a random in-person uh, meeting that you had at an event for the Finnish president, you ran into President Trump and advised him that you'd been called to testify before Congress, and he said to you, good, go tell the truth. That's correct. All right. And that is the entirety of your recollection of your direct communications with President Trump about these matters. I may have had another call or meeting or two. I, again, I wish, Mr. Radcliffe, I had the record. I understand, but this is what you recall. This is what I recall. Okay, so stop me if there's anything sinister or nefarious in any of this. A vanilla request about corruption, a call to say I'm on my way to Ukraine, a five-minute call you didn't remember is significant, but its primary purpose was to discuss a rapper, a call that you made where the president said, I want nothing, I want no quid pro quo, I want Zelensky to do the right thing, I want him to do what he ran on, and him telling you to go tell Congress the truth. Anything sinister or nefarious about any of that? Not the way you present it. Okay, and that is the truth, as you've presented it, correct? Correct. All right, why that's important, Ambassador Sondland, is because none of that is hearsay. None of that is speculation. None of that is opinion. That is direct evidence. Uh, and ultimately, that is what, if this proceeds to the Senate, they're going to care about. Unlike this proceeding, which has been based on largely speculation, and presumption and opinion, this is direct testimony and direct evidence. And to that point, none of that included evidence about the Bidens, and none of that included evidence about military assistance, because President Trump never m mentioned either of those to you, correct? That's correct. All right. So going back to the July 26th uh, call, because it's going to be a spectacle tomorrow, you didn't remember it because it didn't strike you as significant at the time. Is it fair to say that if uh, the President of the United States was asking you to do or say something improper un or unlawful, that would have been significant to you? Yes. All right. And if that call was part of a bribery or extortion scheme that you were part of, as Democrats have alleged, you'd remember that as significant, wouldn't you? I was not a part, and I would have remembered. I understand that, and I agree with you. Um, uh, Let's turn to quid, the quid pro quo, because it's been reported in the papers that this was blockbuster testimony today about quid pro quo and new evidence. To be fair to you, Ambassador Sondland, according to your statement today, as you say on page 14, as you testified previously, this was uh, your opinion that there was a quid pro quo, correct? The uh 2016 Burisma and the, uh, excuse me, the 2016 uh, election and Burisma in return for the uh, White House meeting. That's right. correct. So um, you've shared that before. Um, to that point, to be clear again on the part of it that relates to military assistance, though, you don't have any direct evidence from President Trump about that part of it. That, 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 that's your two plus two part of the equation, right? The presumption. Correct? That's correct. All right. And you understand also that um, others disagreed. Yesterday we heard from uh, Mr. Morrison, Ambassador Volker. They testified that they didn't see a quid pro quo. Do you understand that? I understand that that's what they okay. said. That reasonable people could look at all of this and come to different conclusions. Correct? Correct. I yield back. 